Hello, I am Sena and welcome back to my series of 19th century Europe. Today, we will explore the Industrial Revolution and all the interesting inventions and developments that it made for Europe. The Industrial Revolution of the 18th century had seen the emergence of new inventions that paved the way forward for Europe. It saw the British Empire lead Eat with all this new technology like the steam engine and today in the 19th century we'll see how far back technology has gone the revolution started when farming and the production of cotton suddenly got more industrialized at this point in time coal had only been used to turn iron ore into real iron people now had to no longer manually remove the cotton part from the plant the machinery dubbed the cotton gin could do it for them farming also boomed as the food was produced much quicker to feed the growing populace of europe Another reason for the revolution that was industrial was that people were moving into big cities to look for opportunities. For example, in the 18th century, Manchester only showed that 20% of its population lived in urban areas. In the 19th century, 50% of those population lived in urban areas, compared to back then. In 1804, Richard Trevichek was set up to test a new kind of invention, a machine that moved on rails and could pull heavy loads of passengers and cargo. Although the test proved successful, his design was flawed and his work wasn't very credited. This was not the end of his invention, as other inventors saw Richard's design and tweaked it in their own ways. The most prominent would be George Stevenson, who invented the first commercial locomotive, locomotive number, number one, and it ran from Stockholm, Stockton to Darlington. Perhaps one of the most important inventions was the internal combustion engine invented in, the 18th, in 1860. It was invented by French-Belgian engineer by the name of Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenoir. His invention took a very similar look and feature to the steam engine, but instead powered by combustible gas. The first transportation to use this tech was used on basically a part with three wheels and although its load factor was poor, it proved the usefulness of combustion engines. The game changer was in 1885 when Carl Benz invented the Benz patent motor wagon. Sadly, it can only move at 16 kilometers per hour, but he dreamed that one day it could outpace forces as the main way of transportation figuratively and literally. However, Britain wasn't the only European gem in this century. Prussia soon emerged to the scene. Central Europe had been left in an awful border mess after Napoleon's invasion of Europe, and after the Congress of Vienna, Central Europe was now a collection of small independent states in a delicate balance of power so nobody could screw anybody up. In Central Europe, Prussia had persuaded the small states to unify under Prussian leadership, and through their combined efforts, built Europe's first fully complete rail network. Austria, meanwhile, on the flip side, was left, in, was left in the dust, as because of its mountainous terrain, it couldn't make a rail network and had no water access whatsoever. Prussia has also led the world in new industrial chemicals, as they were the primary source of solvents, explosives, and fertilizers. A strong, unified national pride and economy led to most of Central Europe uniting under the Prussian banner, and in 1871, Prussia was unified into the German Empire. However, this era was also famous for its need of family labor. In need of workers to support their industries, Britain and other nations employed child labor into their work. These families had to work in overcrowded factories and were paid dim to none. The living conditions were also unfavorable, as the large swaths of people led to poorly constructed indoor plumbing and cholera became a new fear as people were afraid of pump water. Another dirty tactic that Britain used to make more money was the slavery trade. Britain had a surplus of goods like tea, spices, and textiles, products that could be sold to America and other colonial nations, so they set up a system to make even more money. A triangular route was made whereby they would travel to the African slave coast, today Nigeria and Benin, where they would pick up African slaves with gold, ivory, and iron. Then, Travel to America, where the slaves were exchanged for tobacco and cotton, and finally make a trip back to the UK.
Britain and Portugal both collaborated to dominate the slave market, both owning up to 70% of the slave trade. However, in the UK, anti-slave sentiment has already begun, and in 1807, the UK declared that the dealings between Africa and trade were unlawful. Yet slavery wasn't abolished in the UK until 1834, and slaves from Britain continued servitude in St. Domingue, Haiti, and the US. The Industrial Revolution had flown Europe into the 19th century as a leader in the economy of industry. Britain had become an industrial powerhouse, and Prussia became Germany, challenging in France and Britain's title as the economic center of Europe. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. This is part of my Chica personal project in school. There are other videos like this in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment. Good day to all of you. Thank you.